Hi guys, today I'm going to do a video on finding points of intersection between two equations. Okay, so here are our two equations. First one is x squared minus y equals 3. And the second one is x minus y equals 1. Now I'm going to label these with these colors. This is equation 2 and purple is equation 1 because we're going to keep track of these and also I've used the same colors for the chart here on the for the graph here on the right. Okay? So, how do we find points of intersection? Well, first thing that we can do, we can graph them, which I have already go ahead gone ahead and done here, but sometimes that's a much more cumbersome way of doing it it's much easier to do it analytically. So one thing we can do is we can get one of the variables, usually helpful to get y alone for each equation on one side of the equation and then set the equations equal to each other. So what do I mean? Well let's start with the first one. x squared minus y equals 3. Well I want to get y alone so let's get x squared to the right and we are left with negative y equals 3 minus x squared. Now I don't want negative y here, I want it to be positive, so I just flip that sign. Then it means I have to flip every other sign in the equation. So 3 becomes negative 3, neg minus x squared becomes plus x squared, and we're left with y equals negative 3 plus x squared. Now let's do the same thing with the second equation, y minus x equals 1. Again, let's take the x over, we have negative y equals negative x plus 1. We'll flip the sign, it means we have to flip every other sign, and we get y equals x minus 1. Now I can set these two equations equal to each other, these two. Okay? And since y equals y, that means negative 3 plus x squared equals x minus 1. And now I can get everything on the left side. So plus 1, plus 1, get minus 3 plus, actually, let's just do that in one stage. So minus 3 plus 1. Let me write it right under. We get minus 2 plus x squared equals x. And let's take the x over as well, minus x. And we get minus 2 plus x squared minus x equals 0. So anytime you have this x squared in your equations, the typical way of solving the equation of uh, just solving for x is not really uh, appropriate. What you want to do is you want to get everything on one side of the equation and set the whole equation equal to zero. Only leave zero on the right side and then see if you can factor what you've brought onto the left side and from the roots of the factor factoring process, you'll get your solutions. Okay, so let's see. Let's write this a little bit more uh, cleanly. Let's write the higher powers first. x squared, then x minus x, then minus 2 equals 0. And now we're going to use our factoring skills. Okay, now what does this factor to? Well, if you don't know how to factor, be sure to watch a video on my video on factoring because Factoring is very important and comes up again and again throughout all levels of math. Okay, But here we want, just to briefly review, we want a number that adds to negative 1 and multiplies to negative 2. We want two numbers. And so what are these two numbers? Well, let's just think about it. What are some possibilities? we can have negative 2 and 
how about negative 2 and positive 1? Well, negative 2 plus positive 1 is negative 1. So that's checked. And negative 2 times positive 1 is negative 2. So both these things are fulfilled. And so we can use these to factor. Let's draw an arrow here to say this is just the continuation. So this can be factored to x minus 2 times x plus 1. And still, we got the 0 on the right side. Right? So when does this equal 0? Well, this equals 0 when x is positive 2, because 2 minus 2 would be 0. Anything times 0 is 0, so it doesn't matter what this is. And also, x equals negative 1, because that's associated with this one. Okay? Let's not write x again. Here. Let's write negative 1. Okay? So this is from this one, and this is from this one. Okay? So these two are our solutions. This is where the two equations equal each other at x equals 2 and x equals negative 1. So those, we have the x coordinate. And let's write this in red here. So our x coordinates are 2 comma something. We need to find the y. And negative 1 comma something. We need to find the y. Well, in order to find the y, we can plug this x into either of the equations and see what y value we get. And we should choose the simplest equation. So let's plug in 2 into the simplest equation we have, which is the second equation here. I'm going to continue this down here. Okay. So <clears throat> when x is 2, we get 2 minus y equals 1. Minus 2, minus 2. So minus y equals minus 1. So y equals 1. So our y coordinate is 1 here. Now let's do the same thing for the other x, uh, the other x value, negative 1. Let's plug in to the second equation. So we get negative 1 minus y equals 1. We'll do plus 1, plus 1, and we get negative y equals 2. So that means y equals negative 2. And we have our y coordinate here. Now, let's plot these points. And here, as I alluded to earlier, I've plotted these two equations. So the purple one is from the first equation here. And the green one line is from the second equation here. And we can see from the graphs that they cross at 2, 1, and 0, negative 3. I mean, sorry, uh, negative 1 negative 2. And my plotting and drawing curve drawing isn't exactly perfect, but this is supposed to be 2. Okay? Negative 2. So that's negative 1, negative 2. Here's negative 3. Here's on the x-axis negative 1, positive 1, and 2. So let's plot these points. So the first intercept is 2, 1. 2, to the right and one up and let's plot that in blue so that's our first intercept obviously it's where the two lines cross each other right intercept each other intersect each other however you want to think of it and the second one is negative one two so we go to the left one and down and down two sorry this was negative two we figured out over here So that point is right over here, to the left 2 and down 2. So these are the two points of intersection, which was our original problem, to find the, two, the points of intersection of these two curves here, of these two equations. Okay. So our answer is right here, intersection points. Okay, so just a quick review. We set both equations equal to each other 
first by solving for y in each equation and then solving for x going down here we had to do some factoring and we were able to get the x values that uh, wh where the two equations intersect each other then in order to find the y values we took these x values and we plugged them into the easier simpler of the two in original equations and that happened to be the second one because it doesn't have a square term so it was easy to solve okay and from those from plugging in these x values individually we got these y values okay and then we had we got our points once we had the x's and the y's we have our points we plotted the points and we even uh, drew the curves and we saw that they matched up with where they actually crossed so the visual and the graph matched up with the analytical work that we did here okay so hope this video was helpful make sure to subscribe to the channel to get all the math tutorial videos if any of the stuff we covered here was a little too quick for you like the factoring and the algebra be sure to watch videos on algebra and factoring they're up on the channel, on my channel, Jaleer Academy. And till next time, practice, 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 and have a great day.